Hey everybody, this is the intro, and today I'm going to show you how to open your NAT or your NAT on a gaming network. I know this is mostly um, going to be a problem with gaming and finding games um, fast and efficiently. So, a good thing to do is to go to your um, default gateway address, which you can do by typing in ipconfig on the command prompt. Um, so you're going to want to type ipconfig on your command prompt to open up your default gateway and go to the firewall settings and it should say NAT or gaming somewhere most likely NAT and what you're going to have is a application host entry which is just going to list a whole bunch of different programs games that may um, not may but most likely will have problems with them and you would need to open your net for um, more efficiency so as you can see here you have xbox live 360 you can open your xbox live 360 net which is recommended um, you want to click needed by device and you're going to want to go to the device that needs it so here i would want to find the ip address of my xbox 360 which is done by going to the the network settings in the Xbox and of course um, looking at the IP address in there and then I just uh, click um, service details you want to click add down here um, and it would add that NAT to my network um, which builds for greater efficiency like I said and you can make as big as a device list as you want um, they have specific games on here like Age of Empires and Call of Duty, um, which I know is another big problem that people have. So Call of Duty, Device, um, with this IP address, and just click Add. And I can do this for any game. As you can see here, I didn't put obviously the same IP address so that would not work right there let's see so Call of Duty and select device two, eight. okay so this is acting actually as the IP address for my Xbox 360 so these two NATs are now open on the device right here which is the Xbox 360 device and that's about all you need to know so your NAT settings um, under your firewall settings and if you don't know how to get into your router login um, I have a previous video about it you can go and check out that video but it's pretty straightforward and that's it so once you're done with this you just want to make sure that you've logged out all of these settings are saved in their um, to your system and uh, close the window and uh, go restart your router and all of your settings should be fine. So thank you for watching and have a good day.